Hey you folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris! I am on the pre-release version of 2.3 and Ancient Relics. We're playing on Admiral Scaling Difficulty and Iron Man. I was like, there's something else I wanted to say. Uh, we're on a larger galaxy size. I think I set it to 20 starting um, uh, empires, which is close to the maximum of 24 for that size. Uh, we have the Horizon Signal event going on. We are going to mostly not worry about reading through this. Uh, it is a really cool event, but we've like had it weirdly in almost like every series that we've done at this point. I don't know why I'm so lucky uh, when it comes to um, to the event, but the, ooh, hello. Anomaly Discovery Chance and Psychic. Plus one Archaeology skill. Oh, that's new. Well, let's go ahead and recruit you anyway and do this and get you to continue to... Oh, there's Star two people here. Charted. Oh, someone else is already excavating that. All right, and yet this may not be the end. Entropic recursion. Uh, so why don't you go and excavate Eliath? Excellent. Construction ship is in Farragon, so we've gone and done that. We are going to build some mining stations. We'll have to save up some alloys uh, to be able to send a civilian ship out here. What we probably want to do, actually, is get um, more alloy production if we can. We met someone new. Oh, frog people. Uh, oh my God, spiritualists, fanatic authoritarians. They're the same as us. We share the same divine heritage. Except you look like a frog, but you know, we're not gonna be racist about it. That would just be rude. Uh, let's go ahead, actually, can we ninja this? Yeah, I wanna make sure I grab this as early as possible. Um, rather than develop the systems. I mean, obviously we want to develop the systems, but we'll wait a scooch. Space amoeba at 3K. Our fleet is at one point, uh, sorry. 1.8 over here and then yeah we got the event that gave us some little raiding ships and little destroyers um in 47 so in three years we're actually going to be able to start the war uh over here with these guys again so i guess we're going to want to do that inferior fleet power that's good you do have a defensive pact with the morovians who are who way over here um, so that's not too bothersome, actually. Uh, we don't have a ton of influence because we've just been expanding. I don't think we've got any claims on their stuff here. Uh, but we probably want to do this. Expanded. Uh, right, so that's a new colony that got built over there. Oh, Voodoo Lilium can take an upgrade and can have another building slot, which is going to be for a gene clinic, so we can grow a little faster, especially since we have innate um, reduced growth with our species here. Uh, I'm going to go and make a new sector for Canadras. Oh, I should have uh, renamed this, but now I can assign a governor over here. Uh, yeah, we'll just give you the leader lifespan, which, whoops, leader lifespan. And we need to, there we go. I need to rename you to, hang on. I'm not streaming, so I can't just pick a name out of chat, but what I can do is pull up my list of Twitch subscribers. Do, 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 And this is going to be the system of Jax Paven, who actually just got his twitch anniversary 12-month resub. Thank you very much, Jax. So, copy, OK, and then this sector here. There we go. Jack's Paven. Lovely. And we can create vassals out of this. We're not going to do this. Um, we could set up some sector settings as well for some of these things. Um, I guess we could. And I do like that there's a shared stockpile, so you don't have to worry about putting things here. And you can actually do a monthly uh, contribution to this. I'll, I'll keep driving you guys for now. I made the sectors because I want to be, I want to make sure they had governors, but there you go. Ooh, yes, so the bowel over here, these are our precursors that we're dealing with, and we are doing an archaeological site for one of them. The discovery of another ancient bowel biocomputer remnant has yielded further insight into this planetoid hive mind's history. The bowel appeared to have originated from a single planet, its location unknown as mere plant life Oh, as mere plant life. Prehistoric Bao were all clones of their parent plants and gradually developed the capacity for hive consciousness over millions of years of slow, peaceful growth on their home planet. Okay. So there you go. That's what we've got going on so far. Oh, Alejandro is, is maimed from that explosion. I hadn't uh, realized that when the, the event came last time. Join the favorable alliance. 
Okay, these are the people who had the defensive pack, so that doesn't really change our situation. Oh, two angled, the two angle planet. The discovery of the first crashed flying machine set us on the right path and led to the discovery of a multitude of similar crash sites littering the surface of the planet. Without doubt, these strange dead machines have something to do with the mysterious geometrical shapes that dot this world, but the extent of the damage caused by the crash landing from high altitude will make analysis difficult. All right. Construction complete. So, I mean, we'll still move in this direction. Again, I would like to see if we can gain a little bit of territory before the scaling difficulty makes things maybe a little too difficult. Although, I mean, we're not we're not flush with alloy and different things, and you know, maybe I've got to spend more attention just on developing my internal stuff. If we get our food production up higher, we could do a little bit more promote growth. Uh, technically, I could do it now. We are gaining some food, so maybe tell you what, on my new colony over here, I will go and encourage growth here. We'll see what we can do. Anomaly over here, extensive probing. All right, just found a generic anomaly. All right, that is that is very informative. Thank you very much for that. Oh, the Thoxidir progenitors over here, who we actually made some friends with because we gave them a downloaded copy of that one robotic race. Uh, as you no doubt, we Twaxidir are dedicated to study conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We've studied your species and determined that the cult of the fallen Earth is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best. I mean, honestly, can't really disagree. We did nuke ourselves into oblivion multiple times. Therefore, Earth is a tomb world. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, donate a pop because I don't want to upset these guys. Yeah, it'll make our people a little bit unhappy, but hey, I'm the boss. I get to say what happens. You know, we're gonna we're gonna keep the the, the space parrots entertained for now. We'll, we'll kill them all later or something. I don't know. You could actually go and not be like militaristically um, aggressive. Ah, the Loop Temple. So we're gonna investigate Situation the Loop Temple, updated. which uh, oh, we can also have a cloud study over here. Let's do that and that. So this is all part of the worm that waits. Um, Military use. No, improved energy production. I think if we study this... Is it not in here? Um, we just got like 5% more energy, right? Yeah, energy credits from jobs. It's very handy. We'll appreciate having that bonus. I don't remember the military boost is. I don't know if it's a buff or just unlocks the technology. It's been a long time since I've done it, because I, I really like grabbing the energy. So yeah, there's a lot of trade here, which we'll probably want to take advantage of. Um, since there's like multiple places to defend here, I think what we do is we actually build a star base here, just sort of me a little bit of a choke point. Although it's kind of close to the other star base. If we do this, build two trade things. Let's say just build it here and then one trade depot. And then I've got room for military building, perhaps. Although I really, I think I would prefer it right on the wormhole uh, for later. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade you. It'll be really nice to have a star, uh, star base at the wormhole for building ships, for defending the wormhole from wherever else it connects to. I mean, I actually wouldn't complain if the wormhole connected to maybe this wormhole over here for a little bit more ease of movement. I mean, that's not the most useful, but I guess it sort of would be. If we had like a wormhole down here that it connected to, that would Special be amazing. Project complete. All right, um, we will make the Loop Temple a place of pilgrimage. Yeah, we'll do this. Gives us a happiness boost, uh, which is going to be really, really handy. This is on Earth that was. This is on our, on our home. And then, yes, the Strange Loop Doctrine that we'll have to research if we want to continue the worm that waits. Uh, um, what was? Yes. Situation a rendezvous. Updated. There we go. You meet yourself. Remember you in our prayers. Let's finish this then. Right. So you go aggro on the Syzygy. Spaceport under attack. Right over here. Um, I think you will die def attacking this. Because they're suicidal. Star they may not, though. Charted. Tactical retreat. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be okay. And yeah, the construction ship's gonna run away, which is that one over there. Uh, we'll just go and connect over here. We'll come back to you in a scooch. So, oh, right. I was gonna save up and Alloy to go and settle this. For doom to a rendezvous, I know. Uh, are you serious is ready to go. Let's do this. 
and then Gene Clinic U. And then I'll also build another little something something over there. Because you actually will need some housing. Yeah, our economy's not great. We do have a lot of a lot of minerals. Like we could construction. Commence. I think shit. I will go and preemptively sell some. Um, how's the price over here? Oh, not bad. I'm gonna buy some alloys actually to accelerate things. Ooh, that's a lot of energy. Not bad. So, and yeah, I'm gonna go and set a colony ship over here. Uh, except I need food. Okay. Um, let's just buy food then to accelerate it. I don't, I don't expect it's gonna be very expensive. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, we'll buy a big pile of it. And then maybe we can do some extra growth boosts. So we'll colonize with the psychic people. And we are gonna name this one to, um, Edo's Creations. Boom. Um, did that go? Okay, yeah. There it is. Anyway, no, that's not it. Is it? Yeah, colony ship. Okay. I hit enter, so I wasn't sure if it actually went. Because I didn't actually hit the button. A Grunard data crystal has been recovered on an asteroid, I think, dating to some 7 million years ago. The data crystal contains partially readable military records pertaining to the planet's invasion. Apparently, the Grunner were expecting some measure of arm resistance and were not impressed by the incredibly slow-moving slow bow. The record describes the ease with which the bow's delayed responses were circumvented in a highly derogatory fashion. The Grunner sound like big poopy heads that went and, like, purged all the bow, but... Purge the bowels? That sounds... Started. Yeah, that's like me after taco night. Uh, sorry. Ah, the two angled place. I like how the symbols um, are different here too. Analysis of the crash machinery turned out to give all the answers. The machines were huge energy cutters flying around in orbit, cutting and sculpting the surface landscape with powerful laser beams. One of the machines contained data fragments that explained that the entire planet shaping project was a custom job ordered by an unknown client, indicating some market-driven civilization of tremendous capability. Reminds me of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, this just gave a whole new meaning to the term terraforming. All right, giving us some minerals. I was actually hoping maybe to get some terraforming tech or something out of that. Uh, we've got a bunch of idle dudes all over the place here. I guess we're done that site. Let's go and do this site. I feel like I might have already sent someone here. Well, we'll find out. Someone's going to show up and be idle. Um, you have no leader. I think I will recruit another. All right, we'll keep grabbing the psychics. They have bonuses to various things. And I think I'll just go ahead and automate you. And then my construction ship here. And then I'll actually queue you up to go over here too. That's done there, which is very nice. What I'll do is I'll move to the uh, the site in the back here. Odd factor, Ooh, the odd factory on Jack's Paven. Construction complete. As is fine. Star system charted. You're building up. I'll shrink this down. Wish I, I could run the uh, the tiny outliner, and probably it would work. But again, I'm playing this pre-release, so the mods haven't been updated. I'm betting the tiny, tiny outliner, because there's not really anything new here. But maybe it would conflict with the archaeological archaeological digging. Do I want to renew these? Hmm. No, I don't think the map of the stars is as important anymore. And I'm going to want to save my influence. So I'm going to say no to all that. If we get our economy working better, we could do some, a few other things too. But So you're going to chill over here. Oh, um, I think we can more or less start our war here if I want. I mean, again, you've got your friends. Your fleet power is inferior. You've got a 538 fleet right here, right now. And your friends are over here, very far away. I mean, maybe you could get through here, but maybe not. If you did, how bad would it be? I think we'll just focus on taking the war goals. I think... Not that I have a ton of influence. Oh, I already have claims on these guys, which is nice. Um... I'll throw a claim on you too. And what we're going to do on Sirius is. These look exactly the same, but okay. Is I'll just get the assault armies over here. And let's go and give this a try. Um, except I can't quite yet. I have to wait until October. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, you are... We can set some reinforcements here, too. Receiving communications. 
you're gonna give me energy credits and minerals. Thank you very much. The regime, we've met someone new. Well, they're authoritarian as well, so at least, you know, we got a few things going on. Receiving communications. Now what? Uh, defensive pact. With the frog people. Yeah, um, yeah sure. It's not really gonna come complete. up here. So we're just waiting until October. Colony ship moving out that way, going to Farragon. Size 25 Relic World. Relic World has like penalties to everything, but still, size 25. Maybe there'll be more events. Uh, damage to Void Cloud. No, we'll take the physics research from Jobs. Heck yes. Construction complete. Construction complete over here. Let's make sure to hook this all up. Lovely. And yeah, that's going to be a great planet. And then, yeah, when we get the um, over here, I think there was a Gaian world over there. I don't know why I can't see it now. It must have something to do with, like, sensors or something like that. It's not only corporate members. Association status. You were going to give me association status. I think I think we want to we want to join some. We're going to need some defensive stuff going on. Let's get this started. Now they they're not going to join my war. Technology secured. What is this? Target from orbit. The very heart of the formation lies an overgrown processional entrance leading deep underground, choked with vegetation and half buried in the rubble from some tectonic shift ages past. The going is very hard and clearing the passageway will be quite an undertaking. Give me minor artifacts. Thank you. Star system charge. Atmospheric filtering for habitability will be very useful. Starbase capacity, garrisons, morale codes. Um, oh, Omega Theory. Let's burn through that. Oh, there we go. It is now the 10th. So, if I were to... So, you've got your one buddy. Um, oh, 30th. There we go. Oh, I guess the colors have changed. Declare war. No one wants to join. We're gonna conquer. We have declared war to safeguard our interests. We have. Um, I'm gonna go here right away. Uh, it will mean fighting the starbase as well as their fleet, but I think that should be fine. Yeah, it's not a very big starbase. I think we just want to go in right away. Okay. Odd factor. Uh, no, it suits her needs. That's fine. We're not worried about Attacking that. We're slightly over enabled vessels. capacity, but it's okay. Some of it will get burned away over here. Attacking That's enemy the fleet. Assets. So they have another fleet over here, but yeah, see, we hit them while they were separated. Now we're going to take their star base. We have two planets here? Wow. It's going to be a big get for us. Construction complete. Excellent. Uh, oh! The Gargantuan Orb. Hello, hello. We welcome you back to Gargantua. Oh, you're different ones, aren't you? There's so many of you. So like our brief, and yet so different. We request your kind assistance. Do you have resources for a project? The loop will assist us. But it's difficult to reach. Expensive, you see. Wait. Does the Infinity Machine and the Infinity Loop interact? Your brief? Yes, the ones that set us in motion. You would call them a civilization, we suppose, but in candor we've always found them, that term, a little pretentious. They're gone. Oh, almost a quarter of a galactic year now. We're very sorry. We made mistakes. We can recreate them approximately with the Loop's assistance, but we do need resources. The Loop? Yes, the Strange Loop, the Temporal Coil, the Hungry One. It has mentioned you, we believe, or one of you. You're very numerous. What was, will be, or so it assures us. It can restore our brief, more or less. This is amazing! I've never really, I don't think I've done the Gargantua event and the interaction here. Yeah, we'll totally give you some stuff, man. Retainer's last duty. The Technosphere absorbs the resources without thanks and without any communication at all. Begins to radiate energy brightly enough to be dangerous and you withdraw. The black hole reacts, space around it writhes in coils in ways your archives match to the events of the horizon signal. What? What? The Technosphere is blue-white now. Abruptly it flames and cools and only slag remains. 
Have its briefs, brief makers been restored? There is no trace of sapient life in the system, but sensors locate unusual hyper-extremophile organisms in low orbit around the black hole, basking in its radiation. The science officer is certain they weren't there before. There's no evidence, though, that they're sapient. Perhaps they're some remote descendant of Technosphere's maker. Perhaps they're maker's um, ancestors. Plus 10 society research. And you melted yourself down to slag. Attacking enemy vessels. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, as expected, some of them are gonna show up over here. They've got a few fleets scattered around, but, um, and we're, we're set to aggressive over here, so they're gonna keep bopping things as they go, which is fine, you've done that. We're gonna get you to expand to this great system over here. Thank you very much. So defeating these guys should be fairly easy. Oh, the atomic countdown, there we go. So remember the atomic clock? Yeah. Researchers on Earth that was have eagerly anticipated the countdown on the mysterious atomic clock of prodigious precision found on Sirius B for the past 42 years and three days. Several decades worth of heated speculation and conjecture have evaporated in an instant. The clock has just now reached its momentous deadline, ejecting a stream of self-replicating nanites. The nanites have constructed some manner of advanced computational network on the surface of Sirius B. The network is inactive and seemingly devoid of any AI. The nanites having deactivated the instance its construction was complete. Our researchers are somewhat baffled as to the purpose of the network. Studying it would keep them occupied for some time plus 10 engineering research to Sirius B that's amazing so we didn't get the uh, the terraforming one which I know is a thing but that's that's fine we're gonna go into orbit around this bad boy so we'll bombard it well you know uh, we wait for our transport fleets to finish construction oh archaeological site target from orbit the scientists discovered an ancient cache of resources among the ruins on Alioth 4 they're even now in the process of being shipped to our central stores 1500 minerals that's not bad. We still have, uh, you know, some things in the negative here. How's our sectors? Okay, they're still coming along. All right, we'll focus on the war. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and just bombard the planets for now. We are below our naval capacity. We did lose some stuff. Traditions available. Um, anything we're specifically rushing to? Defensive war. The pop amenity usage would be kind of good. So we'll go with the greater good. That makes me think of hot fuzz. And. Oh yes, we would like to extend our deal with the curators for plus 10% research speed. Thank you kindly. Uh, I guess this fleet here, how many ground defenses do they have? As I say, a lot of times they don't have any, so we're gonna get our transport fleet to just come straight here and be ready to land. Spaceport under attack. Uh, you are set to aggressive, so there you go. And yeah, we have our spaceport here too. Spaceport under attack. Nope, oh, more ships have arrived. So we're going to keep trimming these guys down. Excellent. Did we finish this Roy Tech? No, we did not. Complete. We're researching it now. Construction ship over here. Yeah, please hook this up. Don't really need the minerals, but very excited for the energy. And at least we can sell the minerals. There we go. Basic combat rolls finally unlocked. It's going to help our ships a bit. And yes, we'll research the this Omega theory over here future glimpses so strange loop and entropic recursion democratic laborious technocracy well i was pretty sure we weren't going to appreciate them because they oh they're not egalitarian they are material materialists so we'll let them know who we serve because that's what we do star system charted people keep showing up Oh, you're not actually moving. Now, it's interesting. I guess the aggressive stance doesn't doesn't change when we're um, when we're bombarding. It used to. You know, we always quit the bombards. I'm going to move you here so you actually repair and actually engage things that come into the system now. Since we don't really need to bombard. There you go. You just keep bopping these guys as they try to traverse through their space. Ah, stupid AI. Uh, we do have more transports coming encourage you to all come over here we've got new archaeological event another Groner data crystal has been unearthed detailing a series of military orders including the coordinates of another former battle colony Our archaeologists eager to further unravel the history of these two foes are uploading the data now third time to chart so we've got a new colony that we can investigate so this science ship here i think just finished that um oh i think it's over here so we'll research the project in this system excellent Construction. I wonder if complete. I should go. Yeah, I probably should. Let me go over here. 
bop these guys, take another star base out, which is another place they might be able to build things. How nice of them to go and uh, sacrifice themselves um, without me having to fight them near the star base. I mean, there's still some people here. But not very many. 108, that's nothing. They might be going after our transport fleet, but I think that'll be fine. Idle construction ship way over here. Uh, we may as well get the fact system. Yep, it, that system is totally fact. Uh, oh, archaeological. Two sides, robot debris. Upon closer examination, the smashed droids found on the surface of blah appears to originate from two distinct cultures. Technologically, the droids must have been evenly matched when they were still functional, but there are many subtle differences that hint at different design origins. Okay. We've got robot debris. All right, you're still technically fighting. And now you are done. There you go, killing some transports and things. Let's see if we can catch these guys here. Destroyer tech, done. Nice. Elgate insight. Um, we, I don't know if we have to rush that. Uh, Railgun 3 is nice. Just getting more hull points might be worthwhile, though. Because it's like sort of, I don't know, we'll get the railguns. Because it'll it'll help a lot of our things. Including our uh, star bases and whatnot. Receiving communications. Uh you would like a research agreement. Absolutely, frog boy. You're doing the station there. Excellent. And so the transport fleet. So I mean, I'm gonna make sure everyone's heading here. Um 101 strength, they have 42 strength. Uh, we could assign a general. I probably, I will assign a general to these guys. But in addition to that, I'm gonna wait for a few more guys to arrive. Uh, psychics, yeah. This is army morale, army upkeep. We'll go for the morale. We wanna make sure that we win. I mean, saving money is quite nice because we are at negative 23 right now. But I think this is gonna be a-okay. You're done. If I tell you to upgrade, Oh, you can upgrade here. Oh, they must have a they have a ship here on there. <gasps> Former Bow Colony, the Silenced. Our researchers are excited to discover the location of third Bow Colony corresponds to a planet still possessing an atmosphere and life. Ooh, it's a desert world. Size 24. Um, while Ether 2 does not seem particularly lush or remarkably resource laden, our scientists are eager to begin a targeted excavation search for any remnants of the bow or the grunner. Some artifacts, colony uh, discovered, and it creates an archaeological site over here. So, oh, we can't dig it up. We need to bring it within our borders. And yeah, our construction ships are gonna be busy. Serious, and the, there's another place too. Um, automatic exploration? No, I was gonna say, I'm gonna send you over here because we've got a little bit of debris to research. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, we're gonna wait for our Let's troops to come together. Why are some of them in Farragon? Oh, because there's more than one Farragon system. Yeah, we've seen this happen before. And I remember when we got Farragon over there, I'm like, I wonder if there's another one. And there is. Should like rename this star to be less confusing. Bob, there we go. The star of Bob. New contacts, trade association, peaceful traders. Okay. Star system charted. You got a transport ship just chilling over there. Uh, you're upgrading. Construction complete. Birth of Galactic Marketplace. Okay. So we can nominate ourselves for that and things, but I'm not sure that we've got the resources to do it because I think you need a fair amount of influence and or money, and we're kind of a little poor on both. I think there's no reason not to go and grab all these. I'm going to grab this first for the energy, because we could use that. Although, again, a big part of it does have to do with just our transport fleets uh, being kind of busy. The military fleet over here is done. I don't know where the transport ships went, but I'm going to run you over here. This is your capital. And yeah, just waiting for more transport ships to arrive. Oh, uh, migration treaty. Yes, I would like that. Hopefully you've got a different um, landscape, commercial pack. Yeah, we're going to be real good buds with you, man. And when the war is over, hopefully we'll have built up enough trust and relationship with the Federation we're associated with, and uh, maybe we'll go ahead and uh, have an opportunity to join them formally, which would be kind of nice. Okay, unless you've built more dudes on the planet, and you have not, um, I'll merge you together just so that the stats look better, but everyone would land, yeah. Land there, that should be fine. The wow! Aliens. Let's 
Let's research you. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, study the messenger. Oh, yes, that's going to be an important you. Uh, what? Scientist is present of is a founder species. This is our founder species. Oh, it just doesn't show up in the other view. Yeah, yeah, go there. Common research vessel destroyed. Ground invasion force has seized Oh, did we lose a, a science vessel? Oh. Yeah, okay. That's um that's fairly legit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That there's a lot of stuff there. Alright. Uh ground invasion was successful, yes. So come over to Florp. Still have a scientist coming here. We're still dealing with this. I mean, we want, might want to expand our claims. Um, remember that we're technically in war with these guys, but yeah, they're they're far away and might not even be able to fly through that territory. There we go. Nicely purged. Uh, I didn't actually select you. There we go. Let's go and grab these. We might just expand our claim to those. Oh, and that one over here which is definitely a thing we want to be able to do. So on Florp, uh, they have a few more armies. I mean, we still have more strength. We'll wait until the, the last tra um, transport ship comes, though. Special project complete. Study the messenger. Yes. So this will modify our, our people to be, what, militaristic? The Amber Puzzle Box. Once past the collapsed entrance, the tunnel bores deep into the earth. Architecturally flawless despite its age, kilometers down, it opens into a massive, perfectly spherical chamber. Floating in a suspension field at the very center uh, uh, is an inscrutable alien device, a semi-opaque, amber-tinted cube with intricate alien patterns inscribed on all six sides. It's a die. Touching the inscriptions causes rhythmic pulses of light to be emitted from the cube. No, it's as Simon says. There are no traces of any known language code or mathematical equation in the chamber or on the puzzle box itself, but it's fairly safe to assume the box is a riddle of some kind. Ooh, keep digging. Sounds like a D&D adventure. It's like, it's it's many things is what it is. Uh, right, you went ahead and did that. Um, where do we want to send you? We might just want to automate you. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Go and do some things. You're doing these, which is fine. We're gonna wait for the transport to arrive. That's gonna be okay. We do have a decent general here, Special which is gonna help things out a lot. Eat. The Obraxi Freebooters. Oh! There we go. So we've met our first um, Marauder Star group, right? System charted. I think. Oh, clearing this out. All right, construction ship over here. We'll do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to prioritize getting the rest of these systems. Instead, what I'm going to do is get you to come over to Sirius and build a research station here for that tech. And then we'll probably get you to claim the Elther system. And then we've also got some more stuff over there. Oh, we've got some more green worlds that are showing up too. Because our um, colonization uh, values have improved a fair bit from different things. So Gilprum, a savannah world with the resonant crystal boost. Very nice. It's only size 13, but we'll go ahead and do that now. Oh, it's the Raxar who can do it. Okay. Excellent. We're going to do this. And we're going to name you Ratcornu is going to be the name of this colony here. And yeah, they did add a random colony in button, which is kind of nifty. I should actually hit that a few times next time and see what kind of names it comes up with. So, you guys are going to merge into one fleet, and then land yourself on Florp. Which totally sounds like something out of Rick and Morty. The Heth Aliens. Invasion commenced. Research. Yeah. I mean, you know, we don't have our psychic armies or drone armies or, you know, anything like that, but they did pretty okay. So that's both planets over there. So, there's a planet here, which to me looks like, I don't know, something up dog. What's up, dog? And then we have an Aether Drake here that we could have access to later for, for bopping. Yeah, we're going to do the Gapen Maw, then we're going to come and grab Ginnum over here. And before we hit 100% and they just GG out, well, they might GG out before then. Do we want to change our claims? I think the answer is yes. 120, 160, 160. 200 over here, which is their capital. 
Uh, we've got that. Um, we actually only have 77 influence, so maybe we're not going to add more claims. I mean, it's not like we're not going to take a bunch of stuff as is. Uh, Alright, invasions. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. Nice. So we could go and seize their capital just to make them want to peace out more. Which might not be a terrible Special idea. But yeah, we have a claim on that, so we have to grab that if we're actually going to peace out everything. Oh, drone study. Available. Yeah, we'll research you. Construction complete. Construction complete. In fact, in fact, the construction was complete. Um, let me do this. Kind of noise. Maybe we won't have that. Is this the curators? Oh, the merchant guild. Can you build a special merchant guild building? I don't know. It's uh, the mushroom penis. All right. Good to meet you. <laughs> uh, Construction complete. Right, because they still have that territory. I'm like, why is that red? Right, because I have all this. Um, ooh, the ancient caretakers, the robot people. Hostile actions against refugees or consodia systems will be met with maximum available force deployment. All right. Star system charted. Should hopefully be okay. Many events, some closed borders, some this and that happening. Um, you're scanning the debris over here. Hasn't been any others, I don't think. Oh, no, no, there's a few. Okay. Let's just queue up a bunch of these. Uh, energy credits. Yeah, they are going down quite quickly. So are the consumer goods. Um, let's do another big sale of minerals. Boom. We're going to buy some consumer goods and save a little Special bit of energy, but we're going to have to fix it. Ah, the species. Oh, that's right. It wasn't just debris. We got some more species over here, which is actually very handy to be able to do at this time. Uh, the transport fleet, I, the armies I'll probably keep around because once we finish this, we may need to land some dudes. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and do this. Should encourage you to peace out a little sooner. And who knows, if we just get our ways up to 200 influence, which is tough because we are claiming a few systems over here, which I want to do. Not claiming, but expanding to. The Great Nagri Coalition. Hey, you're authoritarians. Maybe there's a relationship there that can happen. I don't know. All right, you've done that, which is great. I mean, I could bop a few more of these, which I guess I will, just to... No, do you actually have... You don't actually have a... Oh, you do have a planet here. Yeah, it's too far for us to claim. Would be nice, because it would give us, you know, more bordering. Well, I guess we already bordered with these guys, so... Never mind. I guess we could have gone for vassalization, too. And we may consider doing some of that going forward, actually. But I'm, I'm kind of happy with just claiming territory here. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, transport fleet's just going to land there. Just give them a little bit more. You know, war progress. Minus 28. They're very close to us just being able to take the war goals. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. Construction done, done, done. Tactical retreat. Um, they'd status quo. What's the difference? 3-4. Don't we... I'm not sure what the difference would be. But I guess we'll just wait out for the, the proper achieve war goals. I don't know. Done. We've got colonization going on. We are going to want to modify a race to be fully psychic. Um, there's a peace offer. Entropic Recursion, nice, and there we go, and Doctrine Strange Loop. So we've got both of those going on. Um, at some point we want to unlock the Psionic Army. Maybe now, now I'll take the increased research rate. More power, the moats. Um, I actually really would like the increased improved sensors for our ships. Listening posts might have value too, we'll see. Oh, you've got some more fleets over here, so yeah, blasting you will probably send you over the edge here. And you've got a peace offer here. Yeah, see, status quo... I think the status quo is fine, but I'm going to wait until I can actually enforce my full demands. And then we'll end the episode there, because we've gone a little bit over, but that's okay. Boop, boop, boop. 
80 percent yeah probably after this it'll be okay we could always land troops in a on a last planet as well um again, we could save up a little bit more influence uh no because i need at least 120 to grab one of these things it would be 200 to grab the capital we could just wait for a while oh target from orbit solving the puzzle box turned out to be quite an ordeal aligning the patterns themselves not enough they also had to be solved in a particular order with the calculations of each step altering those of all subsequent ones in nearly endless permutations there was much time consuming backtracking but in the end it was unlocked as the last pattern clicked into place the puzzle box exploded into a million tiny points of light the light danced madly in the air for a few moments before coalescing to create words in some unknown language Oddly, all witnesses to this event seem to instinctively understand the message without knowing the words. For a few seconds before flickering out forever, it read, You have passed the trial. We shall respond accordingly. Okay, so some society research. Weird. Wait, is that literally it? The, the reward was some society research? It's not terribly exciting, although I guess we're not making stupid amounts of science yet. There was several months of, of society research. Okay, I guess that's fine. Um... I think I'll just put you on auto explore. Do do do. Mash, mash, mash. I guess I can get the transport fleet to come over here. Construction. Complete. We are taking some ship damage here, though. Uh, that's actually quite a bit of a tougher base as well. Oh, uh, science ship, are you? Yeah, come over here. Research that. A little more debris, very handy. Um, 120, I think, was enough to claim one more system. Is it the Hithra over here? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and make that claim. I think it's worthwhile doing. I think we can status quo, which would save us some time, but I'm, I'm, the problem is I'm not sure. It looks the same to me, but then why wouldn't it just be the same? Uh, you over Special here are going to go to Gargantua and build that research station. Mining drone ethics, easy prey. No, we'll take the uh, mineral outcome. I mean, we have lots of minerals now, but that won't always be the case, especially as we convert Stars more of it into guarded. other goods, which we sort of need to do. How's our sectors coming? Uh, not really. Can I clear? It's showing me blockers, but I can't actually clear blockers yet. So that, I know that was weird. Our growth is still kind of slow. Hopefully some of these migration trees we have set up are gonna help things. I mean, we have all your planets Star now, buddy. Star system charted. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. Six. Communications. I guess you have allies. That might be why you're feeling a little bit more like you can, I don't know, not peace out right now. I forgot there's a whole other dude out there. Not that they're doing anything. Uh, we can get a new tradition. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this for the pop amenity usage. So we're at minus 13. Hopefully that'll improve at the next month's tick to not be decreasing quite as quickly. But yeah, I should probably actually have been repairing my fleets partway through, especially before taking that star base. 91%. I bet we're fine. You go and repair. No, not yet. Nice ship over here. Ooh, lots more debris. Research. 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 I don't know if we're getting... Yeah, we're just getting a few research points. We're not actually getting... Um, um, we're not actually getting, like, progress towards a tech. Or at least not anymore. Uh, you are going to come over here. Please. Xeno Justice. Because uh, they're Xenophilic. Interesting. Now, we do have some extra species. We do have a lot of things to pull people towards the um, governing ethics. Which is potentially going to be important as we do the study the messenger over here, which actually we'll do now. Because I think it's going to make our people militant. Construction complete. Mm, there we go. Just got to wait for one more point to tick in. Fleet constructed. Here, we'll send you over here. You might not need to do it. Star system charged. Send you to there. Special project complete. Uh, create a form of treason. No, no. Um... Yeah, well, you know, just just go ahead with the, the modifications. It's fine. Could possibly go wrong. So uh, we have some influence again. 
It's gonna be good, because yeah, you're gonna go and build that outpost, and then we don't have any influence. Um, we've grown there. I guess we might want to grab some more space over here. We might grab Ullum for the archaeological site, if nothing else. Gravitic sensors? That's nice. Um, research station output. Research alternatives is nice. Finishing the lasers is nice. I'll grab the research station output. So, you know, more science, more better, right? There you go. Chief War Goals. Send offer. Best possible outcome. Drum beat, victory party. Oh, so those are probably um, militarists, right? So there's not that many people, but they're pretty happy. They want they want me to be an overlord, and they want me to slay Leviathan. Well, I'll see what I can do. You're going to do this. These stations have to have their trade um, fixed. Is it through here? Oh, trade routes. And right click to soul. There we go. And you. Trade routes. Right click to soul. Okay. Some piracy involved along the way, but that's okay. Transport fleet, we're gonna pull you back to somewhere. Space piracy. Yeah, well that's not a real surprise. We won the war. Low stability over here. Um, I can martial law, although I don't have the points for it. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this fleet. I'm going to split you in half. I'm gonna get some of you to land here. And uh, I'll leave Florp alone. I'm gonna get some of you to land over here to babysit for now. That should be okay. Uh, various claims and things, that's gonna be okay. Sectors, this is a frontier sector. What we're gonna do is we will make a new sector for you. And over here, this should be a fairly big sector. There we go. Excellent. Um, we've got jobs, we've got various things. Um, we'll get a gene clinic. Uh, we'll build some farms, because actually we could use a little bit more food boost. And Ito's creation. Uh, we don't have much money, but mining districts, generating districts. Uh, actually, we'll unlock the generator district thing over here. Relic world. So it starts with... Oh, yeah, all the other the old bu busted places. Ah, unblocks central spire. Bonus research. Okay, these are actually pretty cool. Okay, well, we have to put a cut in here, so we're going to do that now. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time.